Ross Hillman here with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional, TGIF, Today God is First. Today's message is entitled, Real Customer Service. Matthew 9.32 says, While they were going out, a man who was demon-possessed and could not talk was brought to Jesus. Years ago, it was not uncommon to have your milk delivered to your home. Doctors made house calls, and when you made a call to a company to discuss a problem, you actually spoke to a human being. Those days of personal service are gone, and if we are not careful, we will follow the same trend in how we share the gospel. So often we're encouraged to bring people to church, yet we see no examples of where Jesus brought people into the synagogue to get them saved or healed. The miracles happen more often in the workplace because that was where Jesus could be found. Jesus had less response and found more resistance in the synagogue than in the workplace. He took the gospel to and modeled the gospel in the workplace. That is where the power of God was manifested. This is not to say we should not bring people to church, only that our priority should be to bring the church into the workplace, not bring the workplace into the church. Paul understood this when he said, my message and my preaching were not with wise and persuasive words, but with a demonstration of the Spirit's power, so that your faith might not rest on men's wisdom, but on God's power. 1 Corinthians 2, 4. Paul understood that it wasn't words that impacted people. It was the power of God manifested through him. When is the last time someone saw something happen through your life that could not be explained other than God working in your life? When you begin to see this happen, you will be modeling ministry as Jesus modeled it. You will be bringing the church to the people, not the people to the church. Pray that God makes you a vessel of his power, not simply a vessel of words. You know, there's a Greek term called ekklesia, and that means the people of God. You know, in the body of Christ today, we have the nuclear church. That's where we meet weekly in a local congregation. But we also have the extended church. The extended church is where most you, most of you and I uh, spend most of our time in the workplace. And though over 90% of the population would be classified in that, uh, in that way. And so we need to realize that we really have our ministry out in the workplace where the people are. And so let's get a better understanding that we are uh, called to be priests in the workplace. And that's how I want to pray for you today. Father, we thank you that we are. Uh, priest in the marketplace and you've called us to be that and we pray for the power of God to rest on us as we uh, deal in the workplace this day and we are representatives of you and your Holy Spirit as we love people and share the gospel with people where we work every day in Jesus name amen have a great day